everybody. Hope you're doing well. We are moving into the end of our study of the medieval period with Chaucer's uh, The Miller's Prologue and Tale. Uh, it's a specific story about uh, told by one of the pilgrims on their way to Canterbury. And, uh, just, and you'll see some information that I've given you both in the reading notes and in the lecture video. Uh, but it is a very satirical and skeptical look at the idea of love. Now it's important to remember that the Miller is the speaker here, not necessarily Chaucer, but you can also look and ask the question if, Cha if whether or not Chaucer is speaking through his character to challenge some of the assumptions we have about love and how it's supposed to work. And so I think it's a really kind of fascinating study because you have these different characters who are um, hard to root for in a lot of ways, and uh, that hasn't been the case so far in the stories that we've read leading up into this point. So I think it's Chaucer at, at, Chaucer at some of his wittiest and uh, kind of sharpest wit, and I think he's going to, uh, I think you'll enjoy reading it. So uh, it's a really long, uh, humorous tale. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a joke in a lot of ways, uh, attempt and admit to be funny in that sense. And so read it with that in mind and see how Chaucer might be using the idea of humor and joking to introduce concepts, to challenge some commonly held assumptions, and I think you'll enjoy reading it. So uh, for this week, we are, this is at the end of, as I mentioned, the end of the medieval period. Next week, we're heading into the midterm. Uh, so if you uh, have an extra few minutes, it might be worth going back and reviewing the materials you have uh, already done just to make yourself more familiar with them. And I want to give you a heads up before we get into that week because I know that'll be on your mind. The midterm will be a take home exam. I will send out the questions on Monday. You will have until Friday to write the essay and it will involve all, uh, it will involve using, selecting texts that we've already studied this semester, the same topics that we've already studied. So it shouldn't be a surprise to you, but the more familiar you are, the better off things will go for you. So uh, I'm getting discussion board post graded. They'll be in uh, as soon as I finish them and I'll let you guys know. I'll also get you that information on revisions. Uh, to, you can kind of see and continue to grow as a writer as you're moving through uh, these texts and as you're growing as a writer. Um, that's one of the great opportunities of a sophomore lit class like this one, even if you're not taking it as a sophomore, um, that it is an, a chance to explore more of what your writing is that you maybe you had in an earlier composition class or that you're bringing in from high school. Like this is taking the next step and helping you grow as a writer in as much as it is introducing you to these really important and uh, really good literary texts. So uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns and I will talk to you soon. As always, the best way to reach me is email. It's cmoody, M-O-O-D-Y, at aum.edu. Take care.